What's going on, fam? It's your boy, Papa Swooly, and we're going balls deep. Can you feel it? The tickle, the tickle, daddy's home. <laughs> you don't like it? Now's the time to check the fuck out. We're going deep today, fam. Oh. woo hoo 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 That's deep. What's going on, fam? It's your boy, Papa Solio, back with some more Balls Deep action. That's why you're here, and that's what I am giving to you. Before we get into today's nips and tits, make sure you go and subscribe to The Daily Swole right here on YouTube so you can catch the live streams every single day, dropping knowledge cock and putting nuts in all sorts of places every day over on The Daily Swole. So go like, subscribe, and I'll be here when you get back. All right, you're back. Let's go balls deep. I've been seeing a lot of things being flung around, of course, on the piss poor excuse for a social media fitness platform such as Instagram. We know there's a lot of bullshit that floats around everywhere, but Instagram is like a primary culprit because it's like little snippets, it's pictures, it's a little tiny quick caption. There's a lot of stuff that could be misinterpreted and kind of like hit it, quit it. And a lot of poor, 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 poor messages get through to a lot of impressionable people because there's really no quality filter policy on any of these social media platforms. It's all about either drinking, partying, overeating, it goes towards that binge type lifestyle and shuns fitness. We talk about obesity and people getting fat shamed, but there really is more fit shaming than there is fat shaming. That's really what's going on here. People want to be accepted for being obese, where that's where we have to draw the line. Obesity is killing so many people. I mean, Bill Maher said it on his show the other day, 40,000 people a month. That's fucking ridiculous. It's ridiculous. re d q Less. But what I've been seeing in a lot of these hashtags from fat acceptance, from body positive, from healthy at every size, from, I don't know what else, plus size models and stuff. I don't know one obese person, not one, not one in which I'm talking about that has curves. Okay. That's genetic. Wherever you can't spot reduce fat, you certainly can't spot place fat. It goes back to also those Insta fucking hoes that show a glute workout and say, I just ate a lot of carbs. It's going straight to my glutes. You can't send a fucking burger and fries to your fucking glutes. You cannot eat food and eat excessive amount of calories and send it certain places. You break down muscle in certain areas. And if you're consuming the right amount of nutrients and the proper ratios and so forth, your body will have access to that fuel source to rebuild the tissue that you broke down in those areas only if there's progressive overload. Otherwise, your body is going to repair and go on and not develop jack shit. That's why progressive overload is so important. And that's why a lot of people don't build quality muscle and get real results because they're not pushing themselves and forcing their body to adapt. They're just causing damage their body repairs and they fall off the wagon and they never actually make progress because they're not leveling up their body. They're not forcing their body to adapt. Some of these videos that I make, I'm like, fuck, why do I make them? If you think, why does he make those? I don't understand why he makes those. It's because they're funny. It's because you want to see the beard. You want me to pinch my nips. <laughs> but these are the kind of things that people say. You cannot spot reduce fat and you certainly cannot spot place fat. Can you imagine if you're like, hmm, I want a bigger ass. I literally, nothing else, I just want my ass. So you take this food and what are you doing? Just thinking, you're just trying to like, like a seance. You're just like, home, put the fat on my booty, home. I am going to eat this and get some gains in my biceps because I'm eating a burger and I'm thinking about it. If I have this Coca-Cola or this Gatorade or this Bang Energy drink, it's gonna go right to my booty. It, that doesn't happen, okay? The reason why some people store fat in certain areas, it could be hormones, it could be genetics, it could be the quality of the foods they're eating. There's certain areas that the body wants to store fat. The reason why the belly and the thighs and that whole area here is where people store the most fat is because it's close to the organs. Your body doesn't need legs or arms to survive. So it stores the fat where it can access it quickly. Why store fat in your big fucking toe? It's further away and it's a disposable limb, essentially, in terms of your necessity organs, all right? In terms of the vital organs, that's all up here in your torso, and your core. Don't let anyone bullshit you into thinking that you can bulk or you can spot reduce. You cannot. You can train your body as a whole entire system. You can eat quality foods. You can eat in a maintenance. Maybe try playing with the calorie, the, the ratios. You can up the protein a little bit slightly. You don't want too much. Up the fats, drop the carbs, a little, lose a little extra water weight. Maybe get a little bloating around the stomach. Try an elimination diet. Cut out some foods that might be causing you some sensitivities and some bloating and some issues like insomnia or restlessness. So if you're having trouble sleeping, cortisol levels can go up and store more fat around your stomach and such like that. Like overall lifestyle change, it's 
watching TV too late, not sleeping enough, drinking way too much caffeine when you're fatigued, not exercising, being stressed out, not meditating, being stiff and immobile, sitting at a desk all the time, being just chronically just miserable with your fucking life, eating processed carbohydrates, spiking your insulin up and down and eating foods that aren't giving you all the nutrients you need. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, you'll get curves, but you'll get those ripples and those waves and all those extra fucking rolls. You're going to gain around your gut, around your thighs, all the areas you don't want, okay? It's fine to have a certain amount of body fat. That's healthy. You don't want to be super shredded, but you certainly don't want to be obese or morbidly obese. Can't spot reduce, can't spot game, end of fucking story. So the next time you see anyone says anything, slap them upside their fat fucking face because they are completely off their rocker. I hope you enjoyed this balls deep session. Thank you so much for going deep with me. Make sure you also subscribe to the Daily Swole podcast. It's right here on YouTube. I'll put the links in the card and the description down below so you can subscribe, hit the bell. I go live every single day and I'll see you real soon for the next balls deep session. Peace. I want some beard fucking gains. I want to eat a big old steak and it goes right to my beard. You can spot gain your beard. Maybe you can spot gain your nips. <laughs> Take a listen. Peace comes with the gang gang.